All right, so I'm going to be making a cart for my Hobie Revolution 13 and just a quick list of supplies that I have. Some 3 quarter inch PVC, half inch threaded rod, four T fittings, two caps, two lock nuts, two washers, and two wheels, a tennis ball, actually two tennis balls, the dog has the other one in the backyard, and some PVC primer and PVC cement. And these wheels, they're just plastic, they don't have bearings in them, but they do have a, like a rubber tread. So, that's what I'm going to be using. Alright, so let me show you where I'm at. I just took the 3 quarter inch PVC, and just slipped it right through the scupper plug hole. And from the top right here to the bottom of the boat is 10 inches. I think the overall length is 20 and a half or something like that. Which, this is going to gain some length after I add the T-fittings, so after I'm done I'm just going to cut the excess off from up top whenever I'm done and this piece I cut seven inches and I took the rest of the piece that I cut added a t-fitting and I'm basically just going to run a crossbar right across so I'm going to go ahead and make my crossbar cut that piece and cement the stuff together alright so here's my cart so far and I have already cemented these two joints right here and I'm going to go ahead and cement these two so I'm going to just take one end off, use the primer first, and I don't think you would want, want this stuff to actually touch your boat because it probably will stain it. Just run it up inside the T-fitting and run it all the way around your pipe. And then you just wait a few seconds for that to dry. Alright, so then you just glob in your cement. And all you have to do is just stick it in. Now, whenever you stick this in, it will try to push itself back out. So make sure you uh, you push it in all the way. And you're going to have to hold it for a good 30 seconds to a minute. It doesn't, it doesn't take long for this stuff to dry. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the two pieces that I cut off earlier. I'm going to use the primer and cement put them on both and I'm going to slip them in here just like I did these two joints. Okay so now that that's all done and dry I'm going to go ahead and slip my T-fittings on and whenever you measure for your crossbar you want to measure at least a half inch inside of the T-fitting which this should be 10 inches the same length as the bottom but I'm just going to go ahead and double check yep 10 inches so I'm going to cut a 10 inch piece and I'm going to go ahead and cement those four joints and then I'll be able to stick my wheels on. So instead of the tennis balls what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and get a pool noodle because this one's too short and um, whenever the kayak sets down it'll be setting down on this pool noodle. So I'm going to ditch the tennis ball and let the dog keep that. I'm going to go ahead and put the wheels on and instead of having the wheels really close to each other like that I'm actually going to extend them out because if they're really close to each other it might have a tendency to want to tip over so with them out like this it just gives it a wider stance so I'm going to try that and see how that works alright so I put these two ends on and I put my cap on I haven't seen it in the cap in yet but I drilled a half inch hole through the center of the cap and I'm just slide my half inch threaded rod through there I'm going to leave a good bit of it sticking out I'm going to take a washer which I wasn't planning on using a washer right here but I just don't want the plastic of the wheel rubbing up against the PVC cap so I'm going to be using uh, four washers in total and now since this is a locking nut I'm just going to uh, find how much of the rod that I need sticking out which right about there is perfect so I'm just going to go ahead and pull all this off and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure how much is sticking out so I can come over here and cut all that excess off alright so it's all finished up the the wheels spin really good and for now I'm just going to leave this short pool, pool noodle on here until I get a longer one and uh, what I'm going to do instead of spray painting this I'm actually going to get some yellow Plasti Dip which is basically like rubber that you can spray 
Um, if I spray paint this, I'm sure it'll scratch up really easy where the Plasti Dip won't. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, test this thing out and see how it does. Alright, so I went ahead and I cut off the excess that was coming through the top that I didn't want. And I drilled two holes on each side and I'm just going to use a uh, carabiner thing that I normally carry with me and just clip it on there. That way whenever I'm loading and unloading this thing out of the back of my truck, the wheels will stay on. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up a GoPro and uh, test this thing out. Alright guys, so that's it. It works really good. It doesn't feel like it's going to tip over. The wheels have a nice wide stance to them. It is a little bit bouncy, but that's because the tires don't have any air. It's just a solid, solid wheel. And it does sit up a little bit higher than my Pro Angler does, which I'm completely fine with. And I'm sure that you saw the snow on the ground from when I was rolling it around, but in a few weeks I'm actually going to be making one for my Pro Angler 14 here. Except I'm going to be making one out of metal, I'm going to be welding it together and I'm going to be using um, some heavier duty wheels because these uh, these sand tires right here they're not too uh, they're not really too boat ramp friendly or either um, friendly rolling around hard ground so it's really only meant for sand so I'm going to make a cart for that here in a few weeks and any questions feel free to leave a comment below and on that note I got a mess to clean up and I'll see you guys on the next one.